Hi, welcome to the session of very short answers. So you know for two marks you have got short answers in the examination and they are very very scoring. So you can get full 10 out of 10 if you write short answers very nicely. Now the most frequently asked short answers are number one, the C smoid bone. Okay, C smoid bone. Now you know, see some seeds, right? Do you know, see some seeds? The see some seeds are called as uh, the Kale Tilka Beach. Nalla Nubulu Vantar Gata. Nalla Nubulu. Okay, Kale Tilka Beach. You know, on Saturdays you are putting oil on uh, Shani Bhagwan. So that is nothing but your Kala Tilka uh, Tail which you are using. That is the oil extracted from this see some seeds. You are using it for Lord Shani's uh, Abhishekam. Okay. So this see some seed basically these are seed like bones or bony nodules which are present uh, from within the tendons they are present now if you take this is tibia and here you have got the tibial tuberosity into the tibial tuberosity you know you have got the insertion of the muscle quadriceps femoris now this is the tendon of the muscle quadriceps femoris so this is the quadriceps femoris within the tendon of quadriceps femoris you have got a small bone which is called the patella this patella so this is called patella you know patella is also called as one more name kneecap very good the patella is also called as kneecap now it is the largest seismoid bone which is present in the body that is developing in the tendon of quadriceps femoris also you have got other seismoid bones like Pisiform bone which is developing in the tendon of flexor carpi ulnaris. In the tendon of flexor carpi ulnaris, you are having the pisiform bone. Also, you have got one more uh, bone that is sismoid bone that is called fabella. This fabella is developing within the lateral head of gastrocnemius. Within the lateral head of gastrocnemius, you are having this third seismoid bone present in the body. So actually the seismoid bones they have got a peculiarity that they don't have periosteum. They don't have periosteum and they don't have haversian canal system. They don't have any haversian canal system and they don't have any periosteum. These are the bony nodules which are developing in the tendon of those muscles which are subjected to more stress and strain, which are subjected to more tension, they are present. These seismoid bones, firstly they resist the pressure, they resist the pressure, then they alter the direction of, they alter the direction of the pull of the muscle, they alter the direction of the pull of the muscles, they resist the pressure, they decrease the friction, they decrease the friction, they maintain the local circulation. These bony nodules, they maintain the local circulation. So, these are very very important bones that are present within the uh, muscle tendons. So once again to repeat, they resist the pressure, they alter the direction of the pull of the muscle, they decrease the pressure, they maintain the local circulation. And point to be noted, here when we are talking about the patella, now between the bone and they can be, between the bone and the tendon when they are present, here you have got the articular surface being covered by the articular cartilage. Now you know you have got the articular cartilage. Now what is articular cartilage? Now you know articular cartilage is nothing but the hyaline cartilage which is uh, present uh, covering the articular surface of the bone and that is forming the joint and sometimes you are having bursae. You are having the bursae. So you are having the bursae and especially you know the knee joint has got the maximum number of bursae. There are different types of bursae here what you are having and there are the pre-patellar bursa, so in front, so pre-patellar bursa, supra-patellar bursa, infra-patellar bursa. You are having so many bursae which are being present in the knee joint. So the bursa are present 
or sometimes they are lined by a simple synovial membrane. So either they are lined by the hyaline cartilage or they are lined by the synovial membrane or there is an intervening bursa between the sesamoid bone and the tendon or between the sesamoid bone and the uh, bone with which it is articulating. And you know, patella is also called as the kneecap. So this is the, in short, about the sesamoid bone. So, thank you.